Hello and welcome to another Writerly Witterings. Many, many years ago, when I was a kid, my father used to work for an insurance company and he was in charge of buying computers, which is possibly how I got into computers in the first place. I can still remember donkeys years ago when I was at school that he came back with a strange notepad and I'd never seen anything quite like it. And I think I have now because I think it was an Atoma notepad. I'll even hold it that way, that's easier. These things are very popular in Europe, especially in Belgium where they were invented, because they're different. I'm going to open this now. Why not? Why not just open it? And the way they're different is when you use a spiral bound notebook. Uh, when you use any kind of notepad really what you tend to find is that you can open it up if it's one of the Rhodia or Clairefontaine type notepads you can open it up and it will open moderately flat not perfectly but moderately I love these things the paper's great and they're wonderful to write to work with but with this not only will it open absolutely flat, it'll go all the way round. It is so much more practical for working on. And it's really good quality paper. What I really like about these though is that you can have different sizes. So I've got an A4 version. But you'll notice that these binders all fit in the same place. Now what's nice is you can take pages out like that they're not tearing they're coming out because each of these is an individual disc and you see this sort of strange T-shaped cut that fits perfectly into each of these discs so you can take pages out and put pages back in no matter what the size of paper so I can take notes out from here and put them into the bigger book if I want to which I do want to because I think this is going to be a really good way of making notes and designing the layout and how uh, the flow is going to run with a book I can use the A5 version to make notes about the different scenes and what I want to happen within the scenes how the plots going to develop within them and then stick them in as chapter dividers within the main A4 book I think this sounds like a really good idea, which is why I've got these things. It'll be even better in the future though, because not only can I do this, I've got a hole punch. Dirty, great, big hole punch. Which means that I can also punch out holes in watercolour painter, sketching paper, and add those so I can make notes, I can sketch locations, I can draw in maps put the whole lot into one project file and keep it all working at the same time. I might be mad, but I've got a feeling that the notepad that my father brought back in the 1970s and which pleased him so much is probably going to be the way that I'm going to go to maintain all of my projects for the future. I think it'll work for me. I really like this. So if you've got any questions, do please let me know that's all for now you can see the comments box down there you can see the like you can see all the other things do please get in contact if you want to suggest any other things that i should be looking at and talking about and in the meantime i look forward to speaking to you soon thank you very much take care